Hey, I'm Wesley, and this is Vimtrix episode three. Today, I'm going to talk about NetRW. So let's get right into it. Now, NetRW is short for Network Oriented Reading and Writing. Technically, this tool is designed for browsing files across a network connection, but I've only ever used it for browsing local files, which like anything in Vim requires some practice before it can be used effectively. To open NetRW, you can type vim. You can navigate the same way you navigate in Vim using the H, J, K, and L keys. To see the contents of a directory, you can move the cursor to the directory and then press enter. To browse up one directory, press dash. To open a file in a new Vim buffer, move the cursor to the file and press enter. To get back to NetRW from that file, you can type the command colon explore with a capital E, or just colon EX for short. Also, you can use the command colon SEX, and no, that's not a joke, to do a split explore horizontally, or colon VEX to do a vertical split explore. You can also create new files in NetRW. To do so, press the percent key, and then you'll be prompted with a file name. You can also rename the file by pressing capital R, and you'll be prompted again uh, for the file name. To move and copy files, you have to understand NetRW's concepts of marking files and setting targets. You can mark a file by placing the cursor on top of it and pressing MF. Now, once files are marked, there are several operations you can do to them. As our first operation, let's copy a file. Before we get to that, I wanted to mention a new project I've been working on called Whitebox VPN. It's kind of like a cloud provider, but just for VPN servers. Whitebox VPN allows you to create your own VPN server. So unlike other VPN providers where your traffic is going through their servers, Whitebox VPN allows you to own the server yourself. You'll have full root SSH access to your VPN servers. There's a link in the description. So I mentioned one other concept you need to know to copy and move files, and that is setting a target. A target is always going to be a directory. To set a target, move the cursor to the directory you want to target, or over any file in the current directory to target the current directory, and press MT. Once you've done that, the help text at the top should show what directory you're targeting. Now that the marked files and target are both set, you can either copy or move the file. To copy the files, just press MC. To do a move instead of a copy, press MM. The last thing I wanted to show you was how to change the list view in Vim. By pressing I, you can cycle through the various listing styles in Vim which include thin, long, wide, and tree. Tree may be one of my favorites because you can open and close the directories. Thanks for watching.